idea of apprenticeship is as old as the world as, as the, the Mason societies. And what the apprentice does is sit at the feet of the master and hone his craft and gather information that could help him to become a master himself. When I came back here as director of culture, we recognized that a fund was available for development of cultural industries and this was an area that we have been wanting to work in for a long time. Because those of us who work in the division of culture firmly believe that the culture sector has the ability, has the competencies to be able to diversify the economy. People can earn a living from their art. And what we recognize though is that while we have a lot of people who are practitioners, I mean we have more musicians per capita I think than anywhere else in the world. What we didn't have were professional um, operators in the sector. If you ask one person today, besides of course the likes of Marshall Montano, are you ready? I want to put you on a show. I want to be able to send your information to a promoter or a producer. And they don't have an electronic press kit. They don't have a professional profile. So there was some work to be done with imaging, with present, with helping artists, not just um, performers on a stage, but visual artists, to be able to define themselves as an artist by their profile, by the portrait that they put together of themselves and their work, and therefore help them to be able to present themselves to a regional and, and an international market. My name is Darren Elise. I'm a, primarily a steel pan player, uh, overall musician. I've been performing in music for over 20 years now. I didn't even know much about songwriting. I didn't know there were so many aspects of it. And I didn't know that there was so much to expect of it in terms of some of the backstories I've been hearing. So what I have heard and listened to and taken in over the past few weeks has helped to prepare me for what is to come. Because I know it's not going to change anytime soon unless somebody steps up and changes it. What we saw was that we have a lot of uh, Trinbegonians who have been successful at their art. I mean, some of our mentors have been Earl Loveless and Dino you know, Constance. They say we have Paul Kings Douglas. A woman say, Lord Jesus, Africa man say, mm -hmm. I should keep on playing. The night I can never forget. Albert Laveau, who is um, from Trinidad Theatre Workshop. Senor Gomez, who has been working in Wirecraft for decades. Winsford Devines, who is a hit maker and has made hits for Sparrow and others. And this year we also have the Trinidad Tobago Film Festival. It is important for those of, those of us, and I'm, I'm including myself, who work in this sector, to work harder at honing our skills. And particularly for young artists who want to make a living out of this, who want to give up their day job and become a full-time artist. What we do when we select mentors, we are selecting people who have been successful at their craft. That's why this program is so important for us. It's said we get a chance to celebrate our mentors and we, get, we also get an opportunity for young and upcoming artists to spend time with the masters. I get into the mask making through a friend of mine whose family used to do mass production and so on. I used to go by him after school. So there were times that I'd be here, he would ask me, um, you like it? I say yes. He say, well, come and try it. And then I went to the man they call Yuri Jacob, who taught me to do the paper mache, the wire bending, but the general approach to carnival. All the band was wire, wire, and they had a lot of wire benders. It's not like, you no, know, but it's just a hand pick. A few of us, like Stephen Derrick, myself, and one or two, you understand? But carnival was good to us. While we have worked with individuals over the last three years we've been doing this program, we've also worked with organizations. Last year, we worked with Booker's Lit Fest, and this year we're working with Trinidad Tobago Film Festival. A significant part of the work that we do in the culture sector is festival management, is events. And so we also felt it was necessary for us to uh, look at and select organizations that have been very successful at their craft. Hi, I'm Miriam Lochan. So I signed up for the Mentoring by the Masters program for the festival development. Festivals are a really big part of our culture. That's why I was really interested in this program. We have Carnival, we have Diwali, we have Pagua, and we have more up and coming festivals that are more recent, like the Pocus Lit Fest and this film festival as well. I got to help in two different areas. I started off with the event management and branding team. So with this team, I would help do like day-to-day -day activities. One was um, planning event briefs. So you would detail all the details, like 
who would the start time, the end time, the overall objectives, who would be catering, which sponsors would be activating, those sorts of things. So I think it's good that the Ministry has done this initiative because it shows a real value for the intangible aspects of the culture. As I said earlier, we are convinced, those of us who work in the sector, that the creative sector, and we also talk in the heritage sector, has enough to give to diversifying this economy. There are some things we need to do to prepare us for that. And the Mentoring by the Masters program is one of the things we think is doing that work, preparing us for that time when we truly can say this is what this sector is contributing to the economy.